Hello, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In the last session, we have seen operations and sets where we briefly discussed about union, intersection, minus. In this session, we will look into complement. After that, we will look into some properties which are mostly self-explanatory. But wherever needed, we will draw Venn diagrams and try to see how we can prove them easily, how we can understand them easily better. Okay. Now, let, first let me look into what's a complement of a set. A complement of a set, suppose let us say, let's take a simple example to understand this. I will say that union, I will say that universal set U equal to 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4. Okay. These are the four elements in U. I have a set A which is nothing but equal to 1, comma 2. And let us say I have another set which is nothing but B which is having only 3. Okay. Now suppose I want to find out what is complement of A. Okay. What I will do is complement of A is always with respect to the universal set. Complement of A is always with respect to universal set. That means complement of a subset is always with respect to its superset. Okay. Now, the definition of this complement is nothing but equal to all the values of x, set of all the values of x such that x belongs to u and x does not belong to a. For which set you are finding the complement? These elements, whatever you are writing, they will not be part of A, but they will belong to B. So, can I write it as nothing but U minus A? So, complement is nothing but equal to difference between the universal set and that set. Now, if I look here, A complement, I have in U 1, 2, 3, 4. I should not be part of A. So, 1, 2 is gone. It's nothing but 3, comma 4. I will repeat again. In universal set you have 1, 2, 3, 4. But you want in complement only those elements which are not part of A. So part of A we have elements as 1, comma 2. So that will be discarded. I will have only 3, comma 4. Similarly you can try B prime. B complement sorry. B complement is nothing but I should not have elements of B. There is only one element 3. Other than that everything is eligible. So, you should be part of U but should not be part of B here. Part of B is there is only an one element 3. If I cancel 3, I have 1, comma 2, comma 4. That is briefly about the complement of a set. So, we know that if we are saying complement is always with respect to U and that is nothing but equal to difference or minus between U and A or U minus A. I have listed down the properties of different operations like suppose union you can see most of these are self-explanatory i have just listed them so that you can have a look at them but they may not be neat union a union b equal to b union a which is nothing but we know is commutative law then you have a union b union c is nothing but equal to a union of b union c which is associative law and you know that a union phi is nothing but a and A union A is A. Similarly, U union A is nothing but equal to U. In the same way, in intersection, we have A intersection B is B intersection A, again commutative. A intersection B intersection C is nothing but A intersection B intersection C. That's associative. A intersection A is A. Phi intersection A is Phi. U intersection A is A. We know that you have, you, if you remember, we said if two sets are one set subset to other set, then intersection will be subset and union will be superset. If A, B are two sets such that A is a superset of B, then A union B is nothing but equal to A and A intersection B is nothing but equal to B. So, union results in superset and intersection results in subset. Now, this is interesting. A intersection of B union C is equal to A intersection B union A intersection C. This we will prove by using Venn diagram. Let us see what else we have. In complement, we have A union A intersection equal to U because you know A intersection means U minus A. A union U minus A is nothing but U. A intersection A complement or A dash 
is nothing but phi because you know a and a dash will not have any common elements so always it's empty set similarly we have a union b dash is nothing but equal to a dash intersection b dash and a intersection b dash equal to a dash union b dash we will look into these three by venn diagrams so that you are comfortable i think remaining all are self explanatory we have if you complement it and again complement it it will become the set and if you complement phi it will becomes u if you complement u it becomes phi but because there is nothing left out so first we will do this by venn diagram that is a intersection b union c equal to a intersection b union a intersection c so for that what i will do i will draw venn diagram so i will take a and what i have to prove first is a intersection b union c a intersection b union c so let me divide this into two parts so that i can make simple small ones here let me divide this into two okay right so i can join these two so this is one set a intersection i have to prove this one a intersection b union c equal to a intersection b union a intersection c so let me draw couple of more here we'll draw sets now inside and we will see okay let us take three sets small ones 1 2 3 and i have 1 2 3 now what we want to do here first we will first draw them after that we will try to color them out so that we can see okay right now this is a this is b this is c a b c a b c a b and c okay a intersection b union c first let me put b union c b union c is nothing but this whole pink color whatever i have kept that is nothing but b union c now after that what you want is a intersection b union c that means i have to look at okay let me draw that again so this is b union c that is b union c now with this a intersection that means which part of b union c is intersecting with a you can see very clearly that this part this part is intersecting that means this one where you have that part is nothing but equal to a intersection of b union c because b union c is total but you know you have to be part of a then it should be where it's also there in b union c and also there in a so that is the part let's look at here a intersection b now what is a intersection b a intersection b is only this part correct right and what is a intersection c now i for that i have to add a intersection c a intersection c is nothing but equal to this part but we are doing union so i will take it only once so i will have nothing but equal to both of them equal to same so you can see that a intersection b union c is nothing but equal to a intersection b union a intersection c similarly let's look at let's look at complement what we have a union b intersection equal to let us say this one a union b whole to the power of dash is nothing but equal to a dash intersection b dash let us check how this works out i will take two sets a and b 
same sets I have taken here also A and B ok right now let's find out what is A union B first you know that A union B A union B is whatever you have here starting from here this is A union B now what I want is complement of that that means I, I should not have that part right so what it will be with respect to u if it is u th this is the total part whatever you will have is nothing but other than that remaining all whatever you have inside u that is nothing but your this is nothing but a union b complement what is it if you just take a and b a union b and other than a union b whatever is available that is nothing but equal to your a union b dash now let us see what is the other one i should have a dash intersection b dash by the way let's put the names here this is a and this is b this is a and this is b now this is interesting let us see what is a dash what's the meaning of a dash you should not be part of a i should not be part of a okay fine so i will say other than a any everything whatever is there other than it should not cross the rectangle that's okay you know that this is a dash where you are not part of a now that i have to intersect with b dash now let's find out what is b dash we will find out what is b dash for that what i will do i'll b dash means other than b correct other than b so i'll start from here other than b so this everything is b dash whatever i have here this is b dash also this part i can draw grids you can see that wherever you are having grid format that is the intersection part wherever you are having only horizontal line or vertical line that we should not consider when we are going through the intersection so you can see what is the part the part where i have grid lines is nothing but equal to what is there here other than a and b because i should have now intersection of them intersection of them means it should be present in a dash and also b dash that is nothing but equal to other than a b whatever is there that is nothing but part of intersection you can see that very clearly so in this way we can prove all of them so these are some properties which i thought i will list down so that you can have a quick reference of them okay in the next session what we will do we will try to go through some problems examples related to practical problems for that we will do couple of small formulas we will go through like n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b and another one for n of a union b union c with that we can go to practical problems and solve some practical examples see you in the next video then thanks for visiting bye for now we have just discussed briefly about operation and sets about different properties of union intersection and complement Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.